Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if Windows 10's desktop keeps refreshing. So, this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, we are going to start by opening up the Star menu. Type in Services. Best result should come back with Services. So, go ahead and left click on that. You want to scroll down on this list until you get to the Windows Error Reporting Service and double click on it. Set startup type to disabled and then select apply and OK. Once that's done, go ahead and restart your computer and then that should resolve the problem. And you know, if your problem is resolved at that point, then I guess you can go ahead and re-enable that service to set it back to manual. Maybe it's it's automatic or it's running, maybe you just want to set it back to manual. So it's giving you guys a couple options for that. Once you've done that, restart your computer, see if that resolves the problem. You can also open up the start menu again, type in CMD, best result should say command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now I'm going to have a couple commands in the description of my video. The first one's going to be a DISM command, so just copy that from my description. And then go up to the top bar of this command prompt window here, right click on it, select edit, and then paste to paste it in. We'll take a couple minutes to run, so please be patient. So you can see this is a restore operation completed successfully. Second command, you can copy it and paste it in just like we did the first one, or you can just type it in. It's just SFC, then a space, forward slash scan now. Again, SFC, and then a space, and then forward slash scan now. Scan now is one word, attach that forward slash out front. Hit enter and keyword to begin running that scan. We'll take a couple minutes to run, so just please be patient.
Okay guys, there you go. You can see it did not find anything, but nonetheless, I would recommend restarting your computer at this point, and then hopefully your issue should have been resolved. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.